Hi there people, this is Prayer Love and today I'm going to do a re-review on John Varvato's XX that was released for their, probably their 20th anniversary I think it was on 2020 something like that anyway this one uh, I've got it from a trade uh, it was three fragrances I didn't know and uh, this one actually I've worn the most of, uh, of the bunch this one I've kind of worn a lot in fact and uh, it's amazing like for me this one is killer it has exactly that fall vibe I was looking for I was looking for something that has a bit of a you know like a Halloween vibe perhaps a kind of a um, yeah cinematic Halloween vibe with all the bright colors and the and the you know I, I like wearing rugby jackets uh, bobber jackets this one does the trick I think if I could give it a color I'd give it like black and red like a good red like very neon flashy kind of kind of a, a red um it's incredible and it actually now i'm going like it's flashy it's whatever it doesn't perform that much like too much and in fact it pretty much lacks on performance in my uh perspective but it doesn't mind i just put on a lot <laughs> you know and i i'm really liking it it has a playful vibe but also a very dark and mysterious vibe, which I really like. Um, it has a bit of a sporty vibe too, I think, but also it's pretty sophisticated. It's kind of like almost contradictory, but it, it works. It's just not as cliche as like the <laughs> little stuff on it and whatever. It's got power, but it's it's a John Varvatos. If you like the brand, um, I understand from videos that I was not like into John Varvatos at all. Uh, but if you like the brand, it's kind of like in their style, I think. It's not too much, but and it has that sophistication. It has that, you know, leather jacket kind of vibe. Um, it has that mass appeal, but it's pretty unique. It goes a different way. You know, there's a coffee note in there but if I didn't tell you probably you wouldn't really notice it it just ha adds a bit of um, bottom to the whole fragrance it has a bit of a to me it has a bit of a cherry coke kind of vibe but very elevated <laughs> um, I know it's hard to understand what I'm smelling there but because it's got that fruity kind of a vibe, a bit sweet, not too sweet, just a, a tad sweet, uh, just just enough for it to be playful, you know. And the bottom, heavy bottom fragrance, you know, a lot of like a very bass centric, but everything just complements, like every note just complements each section of uh, the the fragrance super well you know because there's the top notes you get the blast of sweetness and the fruits and then you move and there's this whole like midsection that is so gorgeous and then the bass just kicks in and it's it's always like this fragrance is interesting from beginning till the end and there's elements from all the parts that just always seem to work together into a, a very nice concoction I know that this was not uh, well received. People said that it was a bit too uh, a bit too basic. I can understand that it's pretty mass appealing. It's a mass appealing fragrance, but uh, find me something that actually smells like that. I'm not sure. You know, it's it goes its own way. It's got a boozy vibe a bit, and it's got that leather jacket feel that you want with that kind of. You know very dark looking bottle right there um, yeah booziness darkness letter feel I don't think that there's letter in there but anyway the coffee just 
yeah, the coffee is, is in a card. I, you understand it's a fantasy note, and I'm pretty sure there's vanilla in the coffee. It's awesome. You know, you, you get that vanilla very far into the fragrance too, and uh, everything just works hand in hand to give a vibe. It's not just notes, it's a vibe, you know. It's that bumper jacket, confident, or leather jacket, or whatever, but somewhat classy, someone like someone elegant could pull this off, someone in suit can pull this off, but it's it's confidence, it's, it's quite ballsy, it made my, my facial hair grow a bit more, it's very, very good, I really like that. Um, yeah, can a woman wear this too? Like, I know that all the time my images are centered towards me, I'm, I'm a normal human being, so I always think like that, but for sure, man, this would smell awesome on a woman. I'm like positive about that. Very, very good. Um, I know I always say that, but it's good. Anyone can rock it. Anyone can rock the leather jackets. That's the closing line. So thanks you for listening. Spread love and spray love.